Ashley Young is done. Can I be the only person here who actually doesn't hate this transfer? I know it's like trendy to hate this transfer. Like, well, I what think, are the terms? I think. Oh well, now that is a fair point to raise when you're saying this. I think they may be paying him a big sack of money, which he possibly doesn't need. I don't think that. Um, Was it eighteen months? Right. Yes, six yeah. months, and then we'll see. Six months with a, with a option. I think. Maybe you can live um, with that. I, you know, I, I think Ashley Young is one of those people who to replace. So wait, wait. Asimo is too old at thirty-one, and and getting tired. No. So let's replace him with Ashley. Young. I don't understand. Is that I, I'm assuming Asimo is not fit. Well, they're saying is and he's fatigued, can't play all the time, so we need another backup. So How's the backup fatigued? is older. So, but it's not. I think that because I know already that we're going to get onto Zlatan and we're going to talk about things that he's contributed. Ashley Young is not in the same way as Zlatan, but Ashley Young, if you talk to anyone, he's a United, very good player. He's not he's just, just a good old. player. If you talk to anyone at United, he's someone who is very highly thought of by his peers, by his coaches. Someone who is believed to come in and offer something to the group in terms of attitude, discipline, Diving. ideas. Cheating. <laughs> I, 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 I think I, I, I don't like the guy as a player. Um, I'm sure as a person, he's fine. I think he's actually been really poor when he's played for United in the last 18 months. I don't know if he switched off or just, or it's also that the rest of the team is so bad that you know it's hard to stand out in a positive yeah. way unless I you're mean, Marcus a lot of people Rashford. thought Lukaku was playing very poorly. Yes, and but the thing is, Lukaku was Lukaku in a whole history before him and wasn't in his 30s. I, if he wants him, that's fine. I do get the sense this is what makes me uneasy, and this is what is generally never a good idea for managers to do. And we see this with, we used to see this with managers in England, right? Ooh, I need players. Well, let me go for the guys I know. Conte does this all the time. Yes, Remember, yes. Like, ooh, Vidal, Rakitic, these are winners. They played for big clubs, yes. right? Yeah. Oh, Moses. I had Moses. He was fantastic when I had him. I haven't actually seen him in the last four years and have no idea what happened. Again, I have less of an issue with Moses. You want him run up and down, maybe fits your system, whatever. Um, but you know what? Everybody else who came after you is an idiot and thought Moses wasn't good enough to play for Chelsea, but all of a sudden he's your answer. Ashley Young, same thing. Ashley Young's a winner. He's won medals. It's the Godin argument. It's always argument. Premier League, for, prem, except for Vidal. They're all Premier League as well. Because he's that's where he managed. Because that, 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 that's where he managed last, right? So, 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 like that's that's in his head, right? Giroud yeah, won a World Cup. Oh yeah. yeah, you know. Again, they're not bad. I just wonder about the reasonings behind it. Whereas a guy like Lazaro, who I don't think was anything special. But had grown. he's a younger guy. They had invested in him. Yeah. They had properly scouted him. And now it all goes out the... But this you're is, chasing this the is what happened when he was at Juvain. He would have all these arguments about, I really want Theo Walcott. Is, well, I don't understand. Why are you so hell This is how Turkish Theo football Walcott. runs. And this is, you know, this is the difference. Is the Juventus didn't cater to every Conte whim. And my worry at Inter is that Man he's, sort of had his sort of, he's had his, you know, all season long tantrums in his press conference about what he needs. And they're actually giving him everything he's asking for. So we'll see. Well, you know. I, I think the game changer here, if he comes in, it's not these dudes on the wing because whatever. I don't think that. I don't even think the wing is that much of a the, the two wide positions are as much of a problem as Conte makes them out to be. The game changer, if he comes, and this deal's not done yet, is Christian Eriksen. The the joke there was a whole meme doing the rounds that you know Inter start out offering ten million and Spurs say twenty million, then it's okay. Wow, we'll give you eleven million. Spurs say no, twenty million, and Inter's offer just keeps going ha- uh, higher and higher. Now it seems about eighteen 15, million. Whatever, yeah. yeah, soon all Levy's going to do is like, no, did I, did I say twenty million? I thought twenty-five million. <laughs> do we agree, Ericsson is a game changer, and how do how how, how do how do you best use him? I don't know. Is he going to be made to run two hundred kilometers per hour? Well, because I'm not sure he's going to manage that. You know, that's a weird one with Ericsson. And also, running. aren't they all planning for the future of Modric? Because that was the rumor no, doing the you, rounds you as well. You can't pull the Modric thing out. Come on, he's Modric is forty five. Well, apparently, now. well, no, no that's I, still I don't, quite I don't, young by Conte standards. Yeah, I don't want to hear. Th- no, but look, Eriksen's twenty seven, right? Mm. Yeah. So this and he is, is talented. Legitimately a good signing. He showed he's a good pro. He showed he's not the greatest athlete, but he showed plenty of. He showed that he can operate in a pretty intense team with Pochettino, right? I mean, yeah. it's not like Ericsson he covered a lot of ground or whatever, and he's smart. And so, where do you where do you use him? Well, I think Brozovic is injured, so he might be a necessity more than now just a... a so light. use him as a deep line? No. Well, no, 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 or? but have to change uh, with Barella Sensi before it was one of them would have to sit out and, and have Ericsson definitely play further up forward. In this formation... So you would play, sorry, sorry, just one second. So you, you, you put Barella or Sensi in the Brozovic role? Well, no, I'd have them. To be honest, I think I'd have them as all three central midfielders in the same line as much, but Barella doing more of the running and, and yeah, Eriksen being more up front. Sensi perhaps doing right. more of the Brozovic role. In this formation for me, he's either Metzard or he's playing up front. I think that's, you know, in the Conte formation, which isn't neither of those feel like his natural role, but it's possible that Conte may adapt and change his formation to fit him. 
playing up front, like so basically. You could have him as an alternative to one of Lautaro or Lukaku. Oh. Could, I think he could do that. He, he'd interpret it differently. Yeah, but he I would. think he could do that. That is the kind of outside the box yeah. stuff that we see. It's almost maybe again very but, different players. But remember when he moved Hazard mm-hmm. and played Hazard as a second striker? Yeah. At least he has a range of options where he can change stuff now and isn't stuck on that three five two that you know. I mean, I don't know if the guy doesn't give every sweat, blood and tear that he's got, then I'm not so sure he's great for them. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.